Okay, so I believe you've heard of cases where someone comes complaining online that oh someone has hacked my WhatsApp and this and this happened, con my contacts. Yeah, so it actually happens and if you haven't come across this then I'm going to give you some of the signs that you can identify if your WhatsApp has been hacked or someone is actually monitoring your conversations. Now let us get straight to the point but stick around because I'm also going to give you some of the ways you can protect or prevent your WhatsApp account from being hacked. Number one, you get into WhatsApp then you realize there are some changes in your profile, maybe the name, the about and maybe your profile photo. That is one of the major signs that your WhatsApp account has been hacked. Number two, you find that random messages have been sent to your contacts or maybe you come there, then you realize that some of your messages which you didn't open have been read, are on read already. You find that they have already been blue ticked and such stuff. Yeah, that is also another sign that someone has actually what's up or maybe you sent a message, then you deleted it and you are wondering when did they send this message. That is another sign that your WhatsApp has been hacked. Another sign to identify that someone is actually monitoring your WhatsApp is by making a phone call on WhatsApp. When you realize that your WhatsApp connection is actually very, very poor, then that is another sign that your WhatsApp has been hacked. Yeah, it might be an internet issue, but the moment you realize that yeah, your internet is good and okay, but you're having troubles on phone calls on WhatsApp, then that is a major sign that someone has actually hacked your account. Now, there are many different signs, so let me get through this. Now, you start finding a random verification codes coming to your phone that prompts asking you to oh, verify this. So that is a sign that someone is actually trying to access your WhatsApp account. Then another thing, you find that uh, your contacts are saying that you tried messaging them, that you contacted them about this and this, or you borrowed money from them. Okay, that is a sign that you're actually sharing your WhatsApp account with someone else. So you should be very keen on that. Yeah. So these are some of the incidents that you can actually identify that someone has hacked your WhatsApp. And how do these events occur? Now, most hacking incidents of, on WhatsApp, they normally require the verification code. And a while back, I believe that the WhatsApp security nowadays is enhanced. It has improved, yeah? So a while back, they could simply request that verification code. Then someone calls you, asks you to read the code. Maybe it convinces you with the story. Then you go ahead, read it, and boom, you are logged out of your WhatsApp. That is a way that they could always hack your account. Nowadays, they simply forward your calls to their number, yeah? Someone can easily forward your calls to their number such that they can use that to access your WhatsApp account. Alternatively, someone can scan your WhatsApp code, yeah? And maybe a, a scenario you give someone your phone to use and someone goes to your WhatsApp account, goes ahead and accesses the linked setting options. And that is how they pair your WhatsApp to their device. And this will be actually very difficult for you to identify because in most cases, you're just there using your WhatsApp, but this guy is actually reading your messages from his end. Maybe you want to open, you'll open afterwards, he or she might open the messages after you've actually read them. So it will be very difficult for you to identify that someone is actually accessing your WhatsApp. So another way that your WhatsApp can be hacked, maybe you stopped using a certain mobile number, but you forgot to log out from that WhatsApp. You find that someone else gets to renew this line, or maybe it's registered under someone else. Then when you sign into WhatsApp, you find this person can easily access your previous chats, yeah? If you back them up. So that is how they can easily hack your details and maybe compromise your contacts by conning them. So what are some of the ways that you can actually protect your WhatsApp account from being compromised in case you notice these signs? Now, the first thing you ought to do is set up a two-step verification. And in case you never watched a video I did on setting up a two-step verification, there's a link below in the description. Tap that link, it will take you to my previous video on setting up a two-step verification. That will actually help you a lot. Now, you can also check for linked devices if there's any linked devices, weird devices under your linked settings, then log out any weird device that you are unaware of. That is another way that someone can easily monitor your WhatsApp and hack into your account. Now, if you don't know how to maybe disable or log out linked devices, don't worry. Let me show you how to do this. Let's get it. So from your WhatsApp under the chat section, tap on the three dots at the top right corner. Then you'll see the option for linked devices. Tap on linked devices. This is where you find all the linked devices. As you can see, I had four linked devices and I logged all of them out. So click on the one you see that is still linked. Ensure that you log out until you see the option logged out and you'll be good to go. That's it. Anyway, for more cool videos and more informative content, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Jinani R2 Junior. Peace out to Ango.